Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got an update on ENSO. We'll see the first light for my map. We'll see a developing story that is ticking a lot of conspiracy radars the last 18 hours. And we're going to start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we see yet another quiet day. We are awaiting the arrival of the coronal hole enhancements in the solar wind plasma stream, one on deck today and the next one due in four or five days. High-speed solar wind will create modest geomagnetic unrest for the next several days, by which time the larger sunspots will be returning to the Earth-facing half of the sun. There's been no solar flares, but the first of the returning sunspots is this active region and the large bright umbral magnetic fields you see coming in over the northeastern limb. Leading umbral core is visible now, and we're watching for more. La Nina has found a second wind. This blue strip in the equatorial Pacific is below average temperatures and they are pretty coherent across the central zone. La Nina conditions will prevail at least a couple months more. Interesting study here of the great Myanmar earthquake from earlier this year showed how ancient faults can act like rambunctious young guns. Specifically, they say the San Andreas Fault in California is set up the exact same way. The historic quakes we've seen in California probably are not even close to what can happen there. Up next, we're looking at IMAP. This is the mission set to explore the heliosphere and, more importantly, its interaction with the local galactic environment. I couldn't be more excited to get some new, updated data on our solar system's interaction with the galactic current sheet that is coming. Now folks, listen to this MIT professor talking about Earth's magnetic field and magnetic reversals. And it reverses sometimes, right? And those reversals of the Earth's magnetic field, so you know, reversal meaning the North Pole becomes the South Pole and vice versa. So those happen, and there's even interesting interesting stories you can tell about how those reversals of the Earth's magnetic field correlate with many ice ages and things like this. Okay. Folks, that man was just shot dead in his home in one of the safest places in the country. Affluent, low crime. This was a hit. Nobody really knows whether it was his fusion work or him being about to reveal what's happening to this planet right now magnetically. He is gone. Pole shifts and climate catastrophes mashed together. Where have you heard that before? You know, that is a great reason to be harder than a coffin nail. Physical, mental, spiritual, the experience. Our premiere event from 2025 is doing round two in Arizona in February. This is not for weekend warriors or people who aren't ready to go hard on survival for themselves and their family. The link is below. There are lots of testimonials from those who attended the first one, both in video format and those the attendees wrote. You know, I may be rough around the edges, but can any of you say I'm not ruthlessly consistent, disciplined, and hardworking? This is the program I did. And now there's the disaster component as well link below. Also folks, Heaven's Harvest is now the official prepper food, water filtration, and organic heirloom seed company for the observers. The biggest reason? If you've ever opened a prepper food pack, it's filled with filler, rice, beans, bland, more than you expected compared to the meat and vegetables. Not these guys. No franken seeds either. Real perennial seeds. Promo code SOLAR gets you 10% off your entire order, and they said they're willing to keep that offer open until the sun turns red. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are found below. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.